about to leave Already packing, come with me I'm not really asking we'll get a Hey folks, it's Mark, this first camper man and I am currently at the uh, Washita National Forest I'm back on uh, Poto Mountain and I found a pretty good, neat little spot I'm planning on camping at a beautiful day I think it's like 61 degrees right now it is a little windy it's not too bad for uh, January it warmed up a little bit you see my background right there I got my truck camper on the back of that I've got my four-wheeler I found some uh, four-wheeler trails up here on uh, Google Maps I'm gonna go up here and Tomorrow, probably go around some four wheeler trails. Let me show you my campsite I've decided to go with this time. I haven't decided what or how many days I'm going to be up here for. Maybe a week, two weeks, don't, haven't decided yet. <clears throat> Bought my mountain bike. Do some mountain biking. Look at this view. Beautiful. Kind of like halfway up on a hill. I'm excited. Can't wait. Let me show you the uh, campsite I've decided to go off of. I decided to stay at. I don't think you can hear me on this wind. Neat little spot tucked off into the woods. Got a lot of pine. Now this being January, the leaves have all fallen from the trees. You see a long ways into the woods. Got a nice little spot here. We have a nice view too. <clears throat> yeah, this place has been used before. Uh, when you go into national forest like this, all you gotta do is uh, drive down the dirt roads and look for a spot where it's been cleared out and people have been camping there before. It's perfectly legal just to pull off on the side of the road and camp wherever you want to in national forest. The only thing you got to be uh, concerned about is if uh, it's leased property. Sometimes hunting clubs have uh, they'll lease about a thousand acres, and they'll pay the uh, the government money to lease that property. And then at that point, it's posted property. You cannot camp on it or even be on it without the uh, landowner's permission. <clears throat> and you can usually tell if it's leased property. They'll have posted signs on it. And in Arkansas, I don't know about other states. But in Arkansas, they have like this purple paint. If you see purple paint, it's a purplish looking paint. If you see it painted on the trees or anywhere around the property, uh, it's, it's considered posted. They don't have to have the actual posted signs on it. Uh, I think it has to be every 200 feet on trees throughout the property. So if you see that purple paint in National Forest, that means it's probably leased. Stay off of it. You're not allowed to be on it. I cannot wait to get set up. Look at that down there. Ooh, it's pretty neat. Probably where I'll be headed, right down through there, doing some hiking. Looking around the area. The really best part about winter camping, no bugs, no ticks. And mostly, probably, most of the snakes are in hibernation, so I shouldn't have to worry about that. <clears throat> but I will still be looking out for t uh, snakes. Even got a nice little fire pit. Not for sure if the burn band is still on. So I'll probably make a phone call. See if it is. 
And if it's, there's no burn ban, I'll probably have a fire tonight. These folks have even left me a grill. Pretty neat little spot. <clears throat> And I am fixing to download my four wheeler and start set up camp. To a place where we hey, thanks for watching. Know. About to see the world in action, what we can be. Life with no distractions, we'll get away. This is what we waited for. I'm done living life with the lights out Die with my own doubt Be free with me Let's go, let's be free with me Be free got everything down off the road into my camping spot and I am about to get ready to start setting up camp here we go well folks I am done downloading the camper off my truck and this is where I'll be for the next couple of days right now what I'm gonna be doing is uh Trying to find a spot to set up my generator. I only brought one today, or one on this trip, because it's going to be kind of cool. I don't need two of them to run the AC, because I won't be running the AC on this trip. Right now, I think it's about 62 degrees. It's kind of warm out. I think it's supposed to go down to the mid-20s here in a couple of days over the weekend. So... I'm going to go ahead and set up one of my generators and get it ready. Well, folks, I am all set up and ready to go for my uh, dispersed camping trip. I'm going to get my truck camper uh, off the truck, get the generator set up, uh, turn on my hot water heater, and I am ready to rock and roll. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think this is the best campsite I've had in a long time. Got some beautiful views out here. Uh, you can see a ways out there. Well, folks, I hope you liked the video. If you liked it, go ahead and hit subscribe, uh, hit the like, uh, share the video. It helps you out a lot on my uh, YouTube channel. If you want to see some more of these videos, like I said, it's going to hit subscribe. It helps me out. Like, leave a comment below. Uh, I'll try to answer all of them that I can. If you have any questions about my setup or anything like that, hey, I appreciate you watching. Thanks.